Welcome back. In this session, we are going to see how to stop and start the Cassandra service, which is installed on a Linux environment. So I'm already logged into the Move Extrem, which is a GUI tool, and I'm already connected as Cassandra user. My I've already installed Cassandra using a tar wall that you have uh, uh, gone through in the previous session. So what we are going to do is we are going to see the process by which we we are going to stop and start the Cassandra process, right? So what we have to do is uh, uh, you have to go to you have to export the Cassandra home. So I'm logged in as Cassandra and I have exported the Cassandra home. Uh, this is the location where Cassandra files were untarred. So I have exported it as Cassandra underscore home. Then I'm going to export uh, it in the path, the bin location so that uh, I can execute the executables. It is done. And now what we have to do is we will navigate to the bin location though we have already done the uh, uh, export of path but I'll go with uh, I'll navigate manually so we'll go to Cassandra home bin and we will see how to start and stop so there are two ways to start and stop one is uh, using the uh, background process and another is in the foreground process so we'll see what is the difference so we'll navigate to bin and we'll just fire Cassandra so once you fire this command it will go and start the Cassandra process. And in the meantime, what we will do is um, here logged in as Cassandra. This is my Cassandra home. And uh, okay, let's start the Cassandra process in in uh, background. And we will monitor its its status. So this is running and now what we will do is we will navigate to the location where we can see the log files right so what we will do this is my Cassandra home and if you say ls hyphen ltr cd logs If you see the system dot log, if you detail minus 10f, it will show you what has happened. All right, and if you wanted to see all the details, it will be able to show you. Still, something has happened, and here you can see Apache Cassandra. Now, what we will do is we will stop and we will start it in the uh, in the foreground process so that was uh, in the background now we will do it in the foreground so before that let's let's see how can we stop the cassandra process so simply you have to say ps hyphen ps or hyphen ef grab cassandra or you can say ps auwx grab cassandra you can see uh, it has shown you so what you have to do I believe uh, this is the one so you have to go and kill it kill minus 9 and if you now see there's no Cassandra process running right and if you wanted to see in the status you can check if uh, is the last status now what we will do is we will try to start the Cassandra process in the foreground way so if you remove minus F it will go in the background and if you say um, Cassandra minus F and we'll check the log file how it is happening you can see the processing which is happening At the final state it will say startup complete and so is over here right so it is just 
you will have to keep it open and just to kill it you just to say ps ef grab cassandra and you have to kill that process and if you have to check using the node tool status also you can check either the log file or uh, the whether the process is running at the os level or not okay let me go to cd bin and we will fire this command node tool status and it will show that's running if you have used it uh, if it is registered uh, as a service then you have to use system ctl stop and uh, start way that that way you can manage the service of uh, cassandra we have used the tar file as a stone LN way that's why we are using this so what is that we have done is uh, we exported the Oracle, uh, cassandra home and path then we navigated to cassandra bin then to start it in the background we simply say cassandra executable and it will start the uh, process in the background and if you have to do it in the foreground you simply say cassandra minus f it will start the process in the uh, foreground and if you have to check go to install home then there is a system, something called a system.log you view that and it will show you what is happening as a, a start process if you wanted to see using the no tool status it will show you whether it is up or down and uh, everything what we have done is uh, as a, a standalone process because we have used the tar wall installation and you have to start stop the cassandra you simply kill the process and it will be stopped i hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching